pretty sure mom's a witch. Your mom is not a witch. She doesn't understand you yet. <laughs> I'm milling about with Steve Zahn and Sasha Knight, the stars of Cowboys. Hi, guys. Hello. You like my backdrop? Yeah, where are you? Red Mountain. I, I wish I was in Montana, but I'm, I'm not, yeah. unfortunately. If you were standing there right now in Montana, it would suck. <laughs> it would be so cold. <laughs> you guys had fun shooting there, didn't you? Oh my God, yeah. I would, yeah, it was beautiful. It was unbelievable. Every day off, I was fly fishing. We were like hanging out. Every come on, a movie where you're like, where are we, where are we going today? Up uh, some canyon. We'll be up there all day, you know, <laughs> just hiking around. It was great. It was that this is when making movies is fun. So, so how much of a cowboy are you in real life, Sasha? Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm very That's much. <laughs> but I do have cowboy boots. So. <laughs> yeah, you do. I, I have cowboy boots, and I have this, which is a plus. So yeah, yeah, it looks good. So did you did you have any real kind of adventures camping out? In Montana? Yeah. <laughs> we, we stayed at a hotel, like we didn't go. <laughs> yeah. We made a tent in the room. No. No, we didn't uh we didn't uh we didn't do any of rugged rugged camping, which would have been cool. But um no, we spent most of our time just hanging out and getting to know each other, which took five minutes. And then and we just hung out and had a good time and, and, and worked a lot on the script and got to a point where, hey, we could be on a horse anywhere and, and do any scene. Remember, we were doing the scenes before when we were just riding horse before we even started shooting. Remember that? Oh, man, that must have been so much fun. It was great. It was so much fun. So Steve, I think you already knew how to ride a horse, yeah? Yeah, I live on a horse farm in Kentucky. And that's where I'm broadcasting live from. <laughs> Very nice. And what about you, Sasha? What was it like when you first got on the horse? Well, I, uh, I've i ridden a horse before. Like I, I grew I well, I didn't grow up in Colorado. I grew up in California, but we moved to Colorado for four years. So I did a lot of horseback riding. Yeah, it's a great sport. It really is. So, so tell me about your own personal journey with this role, Sasha. I understand that you can relate personally to this character. So talk about that. Um, yeah, I can relate to Joe a lot, especially because he's trans and I'm trans. Also because um, Joe lives in Montana and I lived in a small town in Colorado, like I just mentioned, um, for four years. And we also, um, I came out around the same time that Joe did. And yeah. So that must have been like very cathartic to portray him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and what about you, Steve? Tell me about the, the dynamics of this role for you. Oh, it was, I was, I was floored when I read it and knew that if I got the opportunity, it'd probably be one of the better, better parts that I'd ever, ever played, um, or I should say most challenging. And, and, and uh, I was really excited about it. And, you know, it hung, it, it, you know, it, a movie like this takes a while to get together. So it was about two and a half years. And then finally it was like, Hey, we got a shoot date. And I was just, was really excited about it, very nervous about it too. There was a lot going on with this guy, but I, but when I first read it, I, I, I just, I just knew I had to play him. And I don't really know how to explain that, but cause that doesn't happen that much where you're just like, I, I, I this has to happen. This has to happen. Most of the time. You're like, yeah. Yeah. This could do, this would fit, you know, and you work out the thing and everything, but uh, yeah, I was very passionate about it. I'm very lucky to have played him. So um, what were those challenges? Can you pinpoint them? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's bipolar. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's got <laughs> numerous problems that he brings on himself and yet he's very vulnerable and, and which makes him likable. Um, 
<clears throat> you know, I was, I was, I thought along and hard about what is manic meant, what, what, what is manic stage meant, and, and, and kind of developed that into like he was just a really fun guy <laughs> when he was manic, unless you didn't want to have fun, and. I don't know, there's just a lot going on. And then, and then, and then just the relationship with, with his son, which is really almost childlike in a way. And um, he's being a dad in the best way that he can, you know, and it was beautiful to me. Sasha, did you feel like Steve was like your dad, like you felt that sort of kinship with him? Yes, I did. We had a very strong bond on and off set. Yeah, you could tell. You could tell. You guys looked like you were really in love with each other. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Okay. It really came across. What were some of the challenges for you, Sasha? Um, my pro my, The biggest challenge I probably had was doing the scene where it had to come out. Mm. And also um, having to wear of feeding clothing, like wearing long hair and stuff. But uh, I talked about in the previous interview that it wasn't a, that big of a deal for me. Yes, it wasn't comfortable, but at the same time, I could go home, go to the hotel and take it off and not have to wear it. And then go to set and have to wear it for in like three hours, but then I know it's not me. And then also that scene where I have to come out probably because we only had like 30 minutes to shoot it. And then also because that scene was difficult because with the little time we had to shoot it, it also had to be like really authentic because that's one of the most important scenes in the entire movie. It can't, it, it can't, it, it's, it has, I have to, it, ha it can't be coming from me as an actor. It has to be coming from Joe as a person. I love it. You're, you're a natural, Sasha, really. What, what an actor, huh, Steve? He's a natural. Totally. And that night, by the way, we had a half hour to shoot it because we were rushing. And I remember I was really concerned because I knew how important it was. Yeah. And, uh, and we nailed it in a half hour to get both sides it was incredible. So. It's such a heartwarming story. What do you want audiences to come away with? Just that it's a beautiful, simple story about love and acceptance. I mean, kind of it for me. That um, people have flaws and that some people are, people think, oh, there's something wrong with you when you're trans. There's something wrong with you when you're bipolar. There's something wrong with you when you're biracial. There's something wrong with you when you're black. It's just that people are, People have flaws and there's not something wrong with them. They're just people going through the world. Yes, Good. very well said. Well, love is love, right, you guys? Perfect, yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, bye-bye. Did you hear what I just said about Joe? She said that she is a boy. You messed her up. I'm milling about with Anna Kerrigan, the director, and Jillian Bell, star of Cowboys. Hello, ladies. Hello. I'm in Montana right now. Could you tell? <laughs> I can see that. I love it. <laughs> yes, it's such a great place to, to be and to shoot this film. So tell me, tell me why you chose Montana. Well, I, I grew up in LA, but I have my still my best friend actually her family used to bring me up to a vacation home that they had in the flathead valley which is where we shot the film and um i just have always been really obsessed with with this part of montana and i wanted to write a movie set there and i just started writing one day i had like a very you know specific image that honestly was did not seem like it was like anything else I'd ever written before. It was a father and a son on a horse. And I knew they were running away from something and that they were outlaws of some sort. And that gradually developed into the story of, you know, a, a mentally ill, but lovely, well-intentioned dad who is, you know, running away with his transgender son, hoping to find acceptance somewhere besides their rural town. 
What a beautiful story. And Jillian, kudos to you for your performance because I really didn't like you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I kept yelling to the screen, why? <laughs> I know, I know. I was yelling somewhere inside my own body, why, while I was doing it. So we're, I get it, I'm, I'm with you. It's tough, it's a tough role. And, and what I loved about it is it's not just this one dimensional character. She doesn't turn out to just be a villain. She actually has a heart in there and a heart that cares for her kid. It's just, she goes about things in the wrong way. And I think that some of that is societal pressure. Some of that is what we think societal uh, pressures will be if, um, if, you know, if we're out in the open. And I think that uh, it was just, it's just a, it's, it's a tough meaty character and I was excited to get to play it. Yeah, Anna, I understand that you really wanted to get a transgender child to play the role and Sasha is unbelievable. What reminded you of him, of Paul Newman? <laughs> His eyes. Oh, okay. Little, I mean, he has, like, if you look at pictures of Paul Newman, he does look like a little shrunken Paul Newman face. I mean, much younger than we're used to seeing him. But yeah, I mean, he's got, he is, uh, I mean, beyond him looking like Paul Newman, he, you know, once I was, we, you know, my casting director, Edie Belasco, and I did a nationwide search, including some, you know, I talked to some kids in uh, the UK and in Australia and Luckily, Sasha was based in LA and I was able to work with him and just meeting him. I just like felt like he was the character, not that he really, he's the opposite of the character, but he just has a depth to him and an understanding. Um, and also he looked exactly like he could be a Jillian and Steve's child, which was a perk, not a necessity. And that was not why we cast Sasha, but you know, he's just fantastic in the role and brought all his own experience and just like a true generosity of spirit to the movie. He's so, he's like an old little soul, right, Jillian? I mean, he said that that he felt so weird with the long hair and dressing up like a girl. So, oh man, what yeah, a thing to say. I, I, I was telling him and I could see his energy shift when he had to do that and I, you know, I want to be as supportive as possible. And honestly, for me too, like my hair was really short and I was growing it out and I had to put extensions in those. Are, that's not my hair. My hair has never been that long in my life. And they had to clip in extra extensions in, you know, whenever I have my scenes. And when we would sit next to each other and do it, I was like, this kind of bums me out. And I would talk to him about it of like, I really like my hair short. Cause I do, I feel more myself when my hair is short and we'd talk about it and, and I just wanted him to have kind of like, he, he has such a safe place in his family. His family's so wonderful and, and, and um, caring, but it's like on set too, I want him to have that experience because it is, it must be tough. It must be a little bit of a, like, um, I was trying to think of an, another word for mind F. Uh, is there you a word? You could say that. <laughs> mind F, like to like go, you know what I mean? Like to do that, like, uh, so, and, and I will never know, and I will never experience what he was going through. So as much as I could, I just wanted to be there for him. Yes. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. He, when we talked, cause he hadn't had long hair in a really, really long time. Like when he was much younger, he had it. And we went, we, he got fitted for the extensions in LA and we went with him. And I remember the moment of them clipping them in and he like looked in the mirror and it was like, I do not like this. I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then there's also just the aspect of being a little kid and not wanting crap in your hair. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but what a performance. Um, what, uh, what would you like audiences to come away with? I think, you know, this is a, a movie about, um, people who are all very well-intentioned, doing the best that they can, but continually making mistakes. And one thing that we've talked about a lot with the movie is in terms of what we can take away from it. I think, you know, if you look at the character of Sally, she has all these projections and, you know, preconceived notions about what it means to be transgender. 
And she has these ideas about what her son slash, you know, in her mind, her daughter is going to be. And she's so attached to her own ideas that she's not able to be present with her son as he is and, and just love him. So I, I would love for people to walk away from this film really looking at themselves and thinking, you know, who is it that I judge? Who is it that I project my, my ideals of what I want them to be onto? And how can I release myself from that? How can I release them from that in order to like actually just love each other and meet each other where we are? Yeah, Jillian? Um, I've talked about like our, our country is so divided and I think that we're like, it's so easy to jump into I'm right and that person's wrong and and there's good reason for that <laughs> but there's also a sense of needing to return to just like a human level base of how do we connect and how did we get so far and I think that this movie shows both sides of that and in a beautiful way and I think that it shows it too in a way that's not pushing people too hard. It really just shows that it's like a journey. And for some people, they can come to it very easily. And like with Eve's character, and for some, it's some people might relate to Sally's character. And I think that um, the message of acceptance is so front and center in this film. And that's what I love about it. Yeah, it really is a beautiful love story. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. It's really hey. nice to see you. <laughs> Appreciate you putting that still up. So cute. I know. I love that. Uh, I love doing these things. <laughs> All righty. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. And it feels like time is moving slow. Always news. Always refreshing. Always candid. Always billing about. Robin Milling delivers what celebrities are saying to you. To you. To you.